honourable members, there is habit. Immediately after the Embu County Assembly passed the motion to have Governor Martin Wambora impeached again, the resolution was immediately forwarded to the Speaker of the Senate, Ekwe Ethuro. A special sitting of the House will be convened on Tuesday next week to deliberate on the resolution and determine the way forward. The Senate is expected to constitute a committee to investigate Wambora's conduct depending on the grounds of impeachment. The county governor... However, according to Ethuro, should the grounds be the same as those for the first impeachment motion, the resolution will automatically be taken to the plenary for debate instead of a committee. Wambora's second impeachment motion was supported by 23 out of the 33 members of the county assembly, up from 22 in the first motion. Those opposed to the motion came down from 11 to 8, with two abstaining from the vote. Ambora's fate could befall Kericho Governor Paul Chepkorn should a similar impeachment motion table Wednesday be passed by the County Assembly. Kericho County Assembly issued notice of motion on grounds of gross violation of the Procurement and Disposal Act, the Public Finance Management Act and the Constitution, as well as the abuse of office. My Lord and my Lady, what's before you today? Meanwhile, the Supreme Court has granted Garissa County Governor Nathif Jama temporary reprieve by extending an order halting his removal from office following the ruling of the Court of Appeal, which found him invalidly elected. Jama remains in office until the 8th of May, when Justice Philip Tunoy and Joaquin Dongo will issue a ruling on the matter. <laughs> Esther Kahumbi for Citizen Business Centre.